Hi, good evening everybody. It is about quarter to seven at night on Friday and I just finished my workout. <laughs> we wo I woke up this morning early at about five o'clock. Well, no, I think it was like 5.15 and noticed I had missed a phone call from the school. <laughs> so guess what? Snow day number four. <laughs> Which I, this one I don't get. I'm sorry. I know I defend the South and our ice, but today, no snow. Zero. Nothing. Not dusting, nothing. Ice, zero. Nothing. <laughs> so, I don't know. We had another day home, or the kids were home, so this morning was just kind of getting them up, getting fed and ready. Eli was wide awake once he heard there was no school. <laughs> so, I just took care of things around there, and then we had a bunch of errands to run today. So they went with us, <laughs> and we just got a bunch, a lot of things done. So my hard drive cable just was starting to just act up. So I needed a new hard drive cable so I could take a bunch of stuff off of my computer so it can continue to run fast and quick so I could take care of business. So anyways, we did that, did a quick stop into Chick-fil-A for the kids today which was awesome. They did their little biscuits in the shape of hearts <laughs> for the Valentine's coming up weekend. So it was fun. It was a good day. But my workout, I it was a double workout day. When I realized it was Friday as we were coming home tonight, it was a bummer. <laughs> I was a little bummed. I thought, oh no, are you kidding me? Double workout and it's evening, but oh well. So it was lower focus and ab intervals. Lower focus Guys, I'm sorry. The whole thing is basically legs. That's why they call it lower focus. So it was lots and lots of legs, lots of jumping, lots of squats and lunges. And my, my legs, my thighs were on fire. Yes, they were. So if you have to modify, you're going to have to modify on this one because, you know, it's, that's pretty much what it is. Ab intervals, again, you are going to have to modify if you had a C-section you're going to have to do some major modification because there's so much pressure that it puts on your abdominal muscles as you are, you know, holding your legs off of the ground or you're in plank positions or whatever. But like I said, you know, for me, it was doable. You want to go with what your doctor says. And if you feel any discomfort, definitely do not put any pressure on your abs. But for me, you know, I was able to find different ways as I did some of these workout routines after I had my little girl that I was able to modify. I would go into the cat dog position and do things, you know, just until I could work up to the knee plank. Once I got to the knee plank, I slowly worked up to doing full plank. And now my inner abs are completely strong. You know, there's an occasion, very, very rare, that I'll feel a little tension. So I just kind of lay off and then go back into it or, you know, maybe modify it down a little bit, but not a whole lot. So it was a great workout. Our workouts are fabulous once they're done. Sometimes I dread them when I'm going into them. But once I've done, I felt like I've accomplished something awesome. And, you know, it, it definitely felt great to work not only just one, you know, kind of your overall body, but to really, really focus in on the lower region, the lower half of my body. Because my thighs is something, you know, obviously, I think a lot of women just want to continue to tone that up. And, of course, my abdominals, you know, is another area that I'm still working on. So... It was good. It was a great, great workout. But I think right now this girl is going to go take a quick shower, get on some PJs, <laughs> even though it's kind of early, but get on PJs. And I think we're going to just have a game night, hang with the family, maybe do a movie. I don't know. We've done a lot of movies this week, so we'll just see. But we're just going to have fun together and I will check back with you tomorrow. So, all right. Well, everybody have a great night and I will chat later. Bye.